If you've suddenly had an onset of very acute knee pain, then there can be a number of things that you could have done. If it was in an activity, it's very common to have strained or sprained the tissues, which is a normal thing to do, it's very easily done, especially to some of the ligaments around the knee, which tends to happen when we overstretch the knee. If it's not quite as bad as a ligament injury, then it tends to be the tendons, where they are attaching that muscle onto the bone. If it's much more serious again, then it can be the actual capsule of the joint. So if the capsule of the joint has been injured in an overstrain, we'll get a lot of swelling. And so that's the first telltale sign of how bad is it? Is, is it swollen? If it's swollen, then we need to figure out exactly what you've done because it might be that we need to send you off for a scan. In the absence of any swelling though, your prognosis is looking good. If the pain is really specific to one area, such as on the inside of the knee or on the outside of the knee, and it's particular movements that tend to aggravate it, and it's very um, pain-free at rest, then it tends to be a strain or a, or a sprain of, of those tissues, which will get better. And so we want to avoid any painful activities in the short term to make that strain any worse. We don't want to be stretching at all. Ultimately, we need to rest in the short term. We want to maintain as much movement as is pain free, but you never want to go into pain. And that's really important. What you can also get is an acute episode of pain around the knee where you can't quite, you can't quite tell where it's coming from. It's quite diffuse. And sometimes this is actually a referred pain. This could be because of an injury to the ankle or the hip, but you just feel it in the knee because the knee is stuck in the middle. And so it's very easy to get overloaded because the knee is a hinge type joint. Generally, it moves in much, much less, uh, moves much less than really mobile ankle and a really mobile hip. Then that knee is there for stability. So it often takes the brunt of what the ankle and the hip can't do. So you may have rolled the ankle and thought, oh, actually, that was fine. And then two days later, you wake up and the knee is hurting incredibly. And it's just because that knee has been compensating. Very often, this tends to be more of a muscular type pain where the muscles are working really, really hard to try and stabilize. And so you're not going to get pain around the actual joint line. You're going to get it more perhaps behind the back of the knee, where we've got a really small muscle that tends to lock up called popliteus, or in the quadriceps and the hamstring tendons, where they're working hard to try and stabilize. But nonetheless, we want to avoid stretching tissues when we've overstrained them because they need to rest and heal. We want to maintain as much pain-free movement as possible. Now, this might not even be walking in the short term. This might just be that when you're sitting, you can allow the knee to flex and extend and you can do a pendulum type movement with it. Especially if it's swollen, we don't want to be putting any more compression through it, but we need to figure out exactly what the source of that problem is.